Newfoundland, Canada, a province that boasts an intriguing past. Untouched natural beauty, a sense of wonder that will leave you breathless in this video. We explore the captivating history of Bonavista, embrace the small town charms of Elliston, and immerse ourselves in the beauty of Trinity Bay. Our journey commences in Bonavista, a place where history echoes through every corner. Once the landing site of John Cabot's expedition in 1497. This momentous event marked the beginning of European exploration in North America. As we stroll through the quaint streets, you'll be transported back in time. The Ryan Premises National Historic Site is a window to the past, providing a glimpse into the prosperous cod fishery that once thrived in these waters. Existence. The Cape Bonavista Lighthouse has borne witness to countless stories of bravery and tragedy at sea. Its light has guided ships through perilous storms and saved many lives from a watery fate. of conflict and war, the lighthouse stood as a sentinel, a reminder of the sacrifices made by those who safeguarded the waters. It has seen eras come and go, yet its mission remains unchanged to protect and guide. The Matthews Legacy, a captivating museum dedicated to preserving the history of John Cabot's legendary ship. The Matthew, here, we explore the legendary ship's significance, its role in maritime history, and how this exceptional museum keeps Cabot's legacy alive. The Matthews voyage was a testament to human curiosity and determination. The crew braved the vast Atlantic Ocean, charting unknown waters and facing perilous challenges.
1497, they reached the shores of Newfoundland, marking the first recorded European exploration of North America since the Vikings. our voyage through the Matthews legacy, we are reminded of the enduring power of exploration and discovery. Until we meet again, fair winds and following seas, may your journeys be as bold and impactful as the legacy of John Cabot and the Matthew. Welcome to the magical beauty of Dungeon Cove, a coastal sanctuary nestled on the shores of Bonavista. In this segment, we set forth on a journey to discover the geological marvels that grace this hidden gem. Dungeon Cove originates from the sea caves that adorn its cliffs, resembling the vaulted ceilings of ancient dungeons. These natural formations add an aura of mystery and wonder to the cove, inviting adventurers to unravel their secrets. relentless power of the Atlantic Ocean carved and sculpted the rugged cliffs, creating a breathtaking sight that captures the imagination. Farewell to Dungeon Cove. We carry with us the memories of its rugged cliffs, geological wonders, and the serenity that permeates the air. May this hidden gem continue to remain a sanctuary of beauty and wonder, preserving its pristine allure for generations to come. Welcome to the Mockbeggar Plantation. Once a thriving fishery operation that played a major role in the development of Bonavista. The main house at the Mockbeggar Plantation was built in the 1870s and has been restored to 1939. In the early 18th century, Joseph White, 
A merchant from Poole became the first owner of the Mockbeggar Room, the best room in Bonavista. The big store on the Mockbeggar Plantation is believed to have been built around this time. The Spillers Cove, a spectacular rocky bay, between Spillers Point to the east and Cape Bonavista to the west. This geosite has special significance, marking the boundary between the two geological halves of the Bonavista Peninsula. The rocks on the east side of the cove are shallow dipping sandstones, while the sedimentary rocks on the west side of the cove include sandstone and conglomerate. These steeply dipping rocks are fractured, broken and altered due to the fault zone. The Spillers Cove is home to a UNESCO Global Geopark site. The Chimney. This geosite can be visited at the beginning of the Klondike Trail or with a whale's view. From one of the many local boat tours offered in the area. The chimney, a prominent narrow sea stack, remains of an igneous intrusion. This resistant time-tested igneous dike cuts across the sedimentary rocks, an ideal nesting site for seabirds. As the sun began to set on the first day of our exploration, we preferred to stay at Newman's Cove. The pristine beaches and clear blue waters of Newman's Cove offer a haven for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike. Here, one can find solace in the simplicity of life, far from the hustle and bustle of city living. Newman's Cove bears the marks of a long and storied past. Steeped in Newfoundland's rich heritage and culture, the warmth of its hospitality welcomes visitors, inviting them to become a part of the community even for a fleeting moment.
We started our day tour of adventure to the world-famous viewing site for puffins, the charming birds of the northern seas. The site is located in the town of Elliston, Newfoundland. Their colorful beaks and distinctive appearance are seabirds that capture the hearts of all who encounter them. These charismatic avians are known for their playful antics both on land and in the water. Living predominantly on remote islands and cliffs, puffins form vast colonies during breeding season, creating mesmerizing spectacles that leave viewers in awe. Living predominantly on remote islands and cliffs, puffins form vast colonies during breeding season, creating mesmerizing spectacles that leave viewers in awe. Beyond their endearing charm, puffins play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the northern seas ecosystem. As skilled hunters, they help control the population of certain fish species, preventing overpopulation and supporting the health of marine life. As our enchanting journey through the world of puffins comes to a close, we are reminded of the significance of these charming seabirds in the delicate balance of the northern seas. Their beauty, intelligence, and vital role in the ecosystem make them a treasure worth cherishing and protecting. Perched at the top of the Bonavista Peninsula is the tiny community of Elistan, the root cellar capital of the world. These traditional food storage systems, used mainly for root vegetables like potatoes and carrots, are built right into the ground, mainly into small hills and banks. To cap off the highlights of this adventure in Newfoundland, we headed to the astounding town of Trinity Bay. Trinity Bay has long been a maritime wonderland, supporting fishing communities that have thrived for generations. its natural beauty and serenity as a town. Trinity Bay has been chosen to be the venue of various films and TV series. Truly a real-life representation of the magical Neverland. This place effortlessly tell tales of the past, rich in history, old worldliness, and pride of place, with geological marvels 500 million years in the making.
For breathtaking panoramic views, Gun Hill Trail is your best bet. It offers the highest vantage point of the area. As you make your way to the top, you can walk by the water and through the woods. Lupins adorn the trail during July. In the fall, berries are ripe for the picking. It's also part of the Discovery UNESCO Global Geopark. Trace the stories of the last great ice age, the first complex multicellular organisms, the rise of animals, and incredible glacial processes, half a billion years in the making. With so much magnificent coastline, it's only natural that Trinity hosts plenty of diverse wildlife from the fin to the feathered. And beyond, Trinity is best for whale watching, seeing gatherings of humpback, mink, fin, sperm, and many other whale species that suffices to say, hello. There's been an ongoing food renaissance across the province. So save room for seconds, or thirds. See just why the Trinity has earned its reputation as a culinary destination. Shaped by the availability of fresh produce from gardens and greenhouses, local berries, and seafood in season. joining us on this unforgettable journey through Newfoundland. We hope you've been inspired to explore this hidden treasure trove of history, culture, and natural wonders. <laughs>